So, I thought I might just do a bit of a catch up on the last couple of days. I haven't been fishing since that last kayak trip. Uh, didn't do that great. I mean, I caught fish. There's always balete on the offer, so I caught fish, but I didn't. I didn't bag any edible fish, this is what I actually said at the start, which I want. It'd be good to get something edible in the fridge. I'm out of fish, so I've been eating chicken like a mofo. Uh, yeah, since that last video, the swell went huge again, which is a real shame because the water was absolutely beautiful that day I went out. I was very actually surprised that that's all I got was bailete because the water was absolutely gorgeous. But since then, like I said, the swells come in and it's been huge. It's actually closed the ports. The ports are closed. Um, happens every year. It happened last year, so I was expecting it to happen. Um, yeah. The other thing which happened that day I went fishing was the bloody paddle. I was struggling with the backup paddle. It is a piece of absolute crap. I was missing strokes because it was too short. So as I went to hit the water and take a power stroke, it would just fly straight out of the water and just wasted energy. And that just doesn't work when you're in this sort of area where the current's ripping and every stroke needs to count. Uh, the other crappy thing about the paddle, it's a, it's a straight blade. So you kind of need to be concentrating every stroke with a, a straight blade because you need to tilt it on the right angle to pull through. And believe me, after three hours out in the kayak paddling like crazy against current, you, you don't have that in you. So yeah, it's a bit of a crap. I decided because I lost it, I put out a notice. <laughs> I put out a notice and uh, hopefully maybe someone finds it and has found it and has it just sitting in his room and happy to get it back to me for a reward. But I don't know, that's not a guarantee. I kind of need to have a backup plan. So I think I'm gonna have to I'm looking at it into it tomorrow. If nothing turns up with the paddle, I think I'm gonna have to buy a new paddle here, which kind of sucks, but I need a good paddle. Like that other one was just torture and I won't be able to go where I wanna go this year if I have that paddle. So investments need to be made in fishing gear. It's the way it is, isn't it? Yeah, so, cause uh, it's all been massive and the swell's been huge. I decided to come out today and have a bit of a throw. I'm down at Mazunte Beach, which is on the other side of Playa Augustinho. And yeah, I didn't have the GoPro on. I probably should have had it on because I just hooked up to a massive pargo and it absolutely schooled me, which is a shame. But damn, it felt good to have the real screaming. I, I haven't felt that in a while and man if, if I had gotten him in that would have been awesome. Could have done a million things different but that's fishing. Anyway I might come back tomorrow and have another chuck around see what I can find. Never know I might be able to at least keep fishing keep motivated because right now I'm just sleeping in like this morning I heard the waves crashing even before I got out the door I didn't even get out of bed this morning to check. I've only got my little setup too, like my little flimsy seven weight kind of flick rod. And he just dragged me around. I had no control of him. Zero control. Probably should have bought one of those before I came over a new one. I broke the other one, cracked it into a rock. So I don't know. I didn't think I was going to be doing as much land fishing this year. I was going to take it a lot more easy, but yeah, everyone's gone, so I'm kind of a bit bored with everyone gone. There's no one around. It's just me and Mikey, he's the only person I really have to talk to, so... I'm pushing all my attention into fishing, doing what I love. Doing what I came here to do. Damn! Sorry. I really, really wish I landed that pargo. 
I'm pretty sure it was a Pargo, just the way, by the way he was fighting. I'm pretty sure it was. He reefed me. He still got my lure in his mouth because it broke it right before the swivel. So he's got the leader and everything. It's fishing. Anyway, I clock in tomorrow. You never know, I want to keep doing this. I'm going to keep getting motivated. Hell, if there's Pargo around, can't be complaining. So we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.